hello guys uh, welcome back to another tutorial on uh, mock-up um, animation and this particular tutorial is a uh, video request that i got through my um, email so i'll be creating um a mock-up animation of 360 with also um wind animation but before we continue i also like to like show you other two mock-up um, animation i have done previously you can check it out and also use it in your work in promoting your clothes brand or also um selling it as your own um style of a mock-up so um don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification um, bell so um let's begin now so uh now on our screen right now there is an avatar and there's a t-shirt which i'm going to be animating in 360 and also um, adding a wind simulation which will also add life to the um t-shirt you get not just a static um 360 um, t-shirt animation so what i'll do first in this situation is to first export the avatar in a 360 um motion so i'll do like this i'll go to file i'll go to um <coughs> export and i'll go to obj so uh okay so let's say i want to um, save it in my download i'll probably save it in my download so um avatar let me just save it as avatar save as obj then i won't select the pattern and i won't select the um graphics and trim i just need only the avatar so and i think this is fine we are all good to go so let's select okay so then i'll go to my blender i'm going to select file i'm going to select um import and i'm going to select import obj then i'm going to go to my download i'm going to scroll down then this is my avatar obj and i'm going to import it okay so we have our avatar um, here on screen. So this is going to be quick and fast. So what I just need to do is that I want this um, avatar to rotate probably twice. Uh, that's 720. You get it. So let me start with the first frame. So what I'll do is to keyframe it. And I'll go to, um, I'll select N, go to this um, rotation. I'm going to rotate it on the um, Z axis. So uh, let's go to, let me just save it as 300 because I want to make it a 300 um, frame stuff. So, um, so like this okay, let me see um 720 okay let me select this first make sure your timeline is on the frame you want to and um, frame the other um degree so um 720 yet then i will um, right click and i'll insert a keyframe so this is it here sorry i'm coming mm, let me i have to stretch this way yes old oh, mistake i'm so sorry 300 sorry 300 yes and then um, 720 yeah so and then i'm going to single keyframe um let me delete that um keyframe for the other um stuff i did so let me go to 720 720 because i need to delete that so I have to delete this because it's an error. So um, delete. So uh, okay, uh, three hundred back. So this is the main um, animation, three hundred frames. Select A. Make sure your mouse is placed here. So A to select all keyframe and select T to make it linear. You yeah, get so they won't be overlapping in the movement. So so this is it. So this is um, 300 frames. So I'm doing 30 frames per second. So that's like 10 seconds. So this is it. So um, the next thing we are going to do is export this as Alembic. So file, um, export, Alembic. Let me just save it in my download. So uh, let's see avatar animation. So, okay, export as Alembic. So we are going to go. So let's go back to glow okay um so what i'll do right now is to um delete this avatar so i'm going to go to file i'm going to go to um import and i'm going to go to alembic so i'm going to add this then select add and select okay okay now we have our animation um, in our 
um, viewport here. Let me just turn this off so, because that's why it's looking like. So my 3D uh, render, quality 3D render is here. So let me turn it off, yes. So let me go to um, simulation, this drop down, and let me go to animation. So um, before we start recording, we need to turn on our um, wind controller. So you need to um, set the controller where you want your um, wind to um, flow from. Come in, so it's something you have to do manually. You don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing mine because I don't know how you want to um, animate your um, mock-up. So I think this should be okay. Let me lift it up a bit. So this is it. So um, then you need to activate this, set it to activate. Then 1000 strength is too much. So I'll go with five because I have played around this um, wind controller simulation. And I know that um, 1000, even 100 is too much. If you want something, uh, you want a smooth wind um, animation. So um, let me go here with um, 10 and frequency, uh, okay. Let me add three to this. Um, three or two is fine. Then uh, the turbulence. Uh, let me set the turbulence to five. So uh, let's uh, record this. Um. So guys, um, I had to adjust the values of this um wind um controller so these are the value i use for this animation you can see on screen um presently right now so if you want this exact if you want exactly this kind of um result uh just use this particular um figures here but if you are not satisfied you can just adjust a bit and i also have to um adjust um the height of the wind controller i raised it up a bit you get so you can just be around with these um, figures to um, get the results you want. And when you are done, you can decide to render it here or take it to Blender and create your um, mock-up um, design. Um, but before you export it as Alembic without your avatar, that's if you are creating a mock-up, uh, don't forget to always um, UV edit your um, your design. You get So make sure it's properly arranged on your... Um, UV editor so that you can label it properly on Photoshop to so that it will be editable for people that want to um, purchase your mockups yet. So um, thank you for watching this um, tutorial. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also check out some of my mockup animation um, video or mockup animation ideas. So see you in my next video.